Hey everybody, my name is Rido, and today we're playing Bionic Commander Rearmed. And before you even start the game, this is literally what you see. This game deserves an award for poor programming as far as EULAs go in user license agreements. There is literally no mouse support. There is controller support, but you have to scroll all the way down. Pretend like you're reading all of this. And then hit enter uh, to accept, which maybe the A button would do. Now, that actually fails certification for, for Xbox and PlayStation right there. Because you know that screen where it says press A to continue? That's specifically all there because that's the point that's required, or at least it used to be required on Xbox and PlayStation and probably Nintendo games too to be the screen that you sit on and in a store when there's been no input whatsoever something to stop the screen from getting uh stop the screen from getting burnt in so there's a little bit of movement something that doesn't check for a hard drive doesn't check for an xbox profile or a PC, psn profile something that doesn't check for save files or anything like this this is the screen i'm talking about like all games to pass certifications have to once they're launched make it to this screen this game doesn't so moving on commando was an old arcade game bionic commando pretended like it was the continuation of commando uh, so much so that this character, Super Joe, gets mentioned. He wasn't originally in the, the Japanese arcade game at all. Uh, so the, they're trying to make like a series out of separate, very old school arcade games. Uh, Bionic Commando is more actually, uh, w at least originally, was going to be a continuation of yet a third game. Um, but... It didn't happen. So Bionic Commando Rearmed, on the other hand, is a 2008 remake or attempt to reboot an old arcade game that nobody really remembers. Um, retro nostalgia is never really going to be a great thing. Um, I want to point out that the audio, the music and sound effects, while they're 100 here, I turned it down to 25% via the main uh, Windows volume control. So it was pretty loud by default. That won't really matter for most people, but it kind of mattered for me. This is also a very wonky looking Xbox 360 controller that we're looking at. Uh, you can see not a lot of buttons here. A to fire, B to arm. X for grenades, you can steer missiles with the right stick, pause with the start, you go to an inventory, I'm surprised it even has an inventory. You move with the D-pad or the left stick, and you change weapons with the left or right bump, so we should be able to figure that out just fine. Now it is going to be slightly questionable, there's no achievements in this game, so these medals are in-program only achievements. So I guess I can look at them and see if maybe we'll get to this way. I'm not sure how far I want to go with this game because this really is just Bionic Commando Rearmed was re made and released because they were making a 3D. Um, let's do a basic tutorial. Uh, a 3D game called Bio Commando, Bionic Commando, which is really what I want to play. And I really want to play it because I recently played Evil Within and apparently uh, some assets that were in Bionic Commando got reused in Evil Within. Or at least that's what the allegation I heard. Standing beneath the center blue block, shoot Bionic Arm diagonally by pressing B. Okay. To shoot it straight up, hold left stick up and press B. I'm not grabbing onto the wall and that's what I would have expected. I don't think I was actually controlling any of that. That was just a demo. This is a little too basic of a tutorial and they still didn't bother to tell me to 
press up on the platform to move forward. Standing beneath the, a white platform while shooting upwards and holding the left stick. That grabs onto that kind of platform. Press B again to make the cable shorter. You're now hanging right underneath the platform. Press left stick to scale the platform. Okay, so from the perspective an, of an old 80s arcade game, uh, the idea... Man, did I just stand on the thing again? Oh, man, and it triggered the tutorial just because I walked a little bit to the left. Let's see. Oh, that sucks. Now I'm playing. Like, I could see when you haven't, when you're in a world that hasn't perfected programming jumping, and there is no jumping here, and desperately I feel like A should be jumping, probably to the point where the idea of having the A button not do anything might be a good move. Uh, it seems pretty crazy. And apparently no fall damage either. Oh man, I don't think I could ever get used to to something like that. Like that this seems like a very awkward way to program to control a character these days. And they still haven't told you you need to press up on those things. And I guess you can't jump down things either. Hmm. Stand on the edge of the left platform and shoot the pile on the car to grab the right platform. Press B again to lift yourself up. You'll probably notice it takes a little longer to reel yourself in during a swing. Once you're hanging right underneath the platform, press up to scale it. So, pretty basic tutorial <laughs> we've got here. Hmm. And you have to... It, it doesn't feel incredibly smooth. You can't hold the B button down to get a longer arm. Of course, this is arm. Fixed ob obstacles such as concrete blocks can be grabs that you can pull them towards yourself. Press down and press this to pull it forward. Oh, you pull yourself forward. Interesting. Hmm. They can also move while standing. Okay. I, I get the feeling that, yeah, if you were doing smoother interactions with this stuff, you probably would be able to use this. And if you got really good at controlling something like this, stand on the edge and shoot it with B to grab the white platform. And then what? Now press forward on the left stick to get the swing, but make sure to release it quickly make the jump. Now that you're swinging, you'll continue to swing for all eternity without having to push another button. Okay. When you want to reach the swing, just hold in the direction you want to go. You, so you don't press B to release? Interesting. So. Well, that kind of is pretty smooth. But it also feels like If I want to do the wrong thing, you have to just tap it and then press B to pull yourself closer. And there's no way down, no way to get more slack. It seems like pressing B would also work. Got the white platform while shooting on diagonal is normal. Get to swing by pressing right and holding on the right. By just holding right, to your automatic hurry, hurry yourself off of the platform. Swinging to the right, release the grip at the far end of the swing and continue the right in the air. Keep holding right and press B to send out this again for a second platform. So this is platforming in reverse, 
because the platforms are at the top. And if you showed me a game that looked like this, I'd think, oh, this is just Steam. Uh, like your standard Steam game that's not really that much of a effort. Uh, and of course, I, the game doesn't look like this after the tutorial. So they're, they're actually giving themselves a bad impression uh, by making the tutorial look this way. Hmm. And the timing here is not great. Like, you've really got to get it right. Uh, too early, you miss. Too late, you miss. So far, I have not successfully gotten it once. Hmm. There we go, and I'm not even going to bother to try to do that again. So let's turn it on easy, because I have no real interest in in this game as it is. Captain, do you read me? Here's your mission objectives. And this is supposed to be... You haven't seen any of it either. But it's supposed to be set kind of in that Wolfenstein World War II uh, fighting Nazi era. It's just that somehow your character has this robotic arm. Your first priority is to find and rescue Super Joe. We don't know where the Imperials are keeping him captive, so... You have to intercept communications and trap down, track down his whereabouts. Uh, so, again, Commando was just a Commando with a gun. Commando Bionic uh, rearmed, uh, or, or Bionic Commando. Your second objective is to slow down the Imperial Advance by causing disruption. You can at their installation. Your pilot, Haley, will transport you and keep track of your progress in the mission log. Now proceeding into the war zone, tread carefully, make us proud, son. Over and out. Hmm. And so I'm seeing some numbers here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm Haley. I'll be your pilot for this mission. I'll keep your comms, the comm line open at all. Uh, Haley here looks like a pre-rendered asset just from the beginning. And I can't look at the background map because it's gotten blurry for some reason. But that does seem like that is a considerable number of levels depending on the length of the level. But yeah, boy does Haley look like she was not made for this game. And this is a Capcom game. Capcom doesn't really have an excuse for doing low quality game development other than they just had no faith in this game. Which, fair enough. I mean, it's not like people were railing for Commando and bionic commando to come back uh recently played a game called strider that was a remake of an older game series under the strider name and in the same instance that that game wasn't really getting demanded for and they did a pretty poor job on as far as bringing it back i think in a lot of ways retro nostalgia starts and end in the memories of people who played games those games when they were a kid they don't want new versions and if you are going to do a new version you have to take something that was a b or c tier arcade game that was designed to steal quarters from kids and completely remake it put a more modern story in it more modern gameplay and see if maybe you just get a little bit of name recognition and it's sort of similar to what the old games are but more realistic and more palatable to modern times uh so yeah Haley's still talking no real reason why the text is that small at all, at all. even if this was designed to be on a four by three screen that the text could have taken the whole si the whole space of the room of the screen up and so could have the picture of Haley. Just give me a holler if you, you're you in trouble and I'll get you to safety. So now it kind of makes sense. And boy, does this guy look like Duke Nukem. <laughs> Good to hear, Haley. So who did you make mad to end up with this duty? Ha, huh, don't let my looks fool you, Captain. This gal has more stones than any other pilot in the force. So if, if they were going to have the text like that, they should have just brought him out instantly to say uh 
Hi, Haley. Oh, you must be Haley. Good, let's get this mission in the air. Hmm. Yes, sir. There's a tutorial in Area 00. Just let me know if you want to land there or if you want to proceed straight into Battle Zone. So, I guess we have to decide whether or not we want and every time I transfer it seems like these trucks are moving what does the trucks moving mean I guess we have to land here and, and see so this is kind of ridiculous it, it's really really ridiculous that you would well okay apparently also you can just leave your level uh, that you would have a tutorial in that poor quality of uh, animation. And apparently these guys are on my side so they won't even shoot me. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. An old data entry revolver upgrade. Interesting. So now I can shoot multiple gun bullets, it seems. Whereas I couldn't before, I assume. Uh, and I guess if your arm doesn't go that high, that's pretty much just as high as you go. And you can't jump off things, so if you were to get any uh, try to get in the air, you're gonna have to grab a uh, a ledge and swing. See, and there's like a nunchuck upgrade. Hmm. And if you want over anything at all, you have to really work for it. What's this? New, new database entry, uh, general challenge rooms, new database entry, challenge, challenge room stars. So is this, like, this is exactly who, what we just did. So why have that, that level of tutorial in, in the the main menu when the game itself wants you to do this tutorial a second time anyways hmm like and I don't see any collectibles or anything on any of this and once you've done this once, you're really going to only suffer on that one. So, now there's air vent blocks being introduced. And the game really needed something like that. The entire ceiling can be gripped onto. You can reconnect as often as you want. Uh, it's harder to time red connections between parts that are further apart, but it moves you forward faster. And it was necessary, certainly. If you're good, you can get through a wall with only three swings. Remember, timing is everything. So. It's a very floaty... A uh, very, very floaty air vent thing. And I need to air more on the, the cautious side and hit this quickly. And, but if you hit it too quickly, then you kind of hit a peak. Like, just tapping B all the time is not helpful. The default direction for shooting on is diagonal your output, so all you need to do is just walk off on the edge of the platform. Press B. 
All right. Hmm. We're doing a lot of tutorial here. I was not really expecting more tutorial in the game. And it's not just you have to walk off on B. You have to walk off on B and then I would say in about 300, maybe 500 milliseconds, half a second, you have to press B so that you can get to that. But you can only press B, you can't have your finger on the left stick or you swing. And that's going to be killer in, in a game like this. Now you've walked off the ledge, you need to hold up and B before you fall too far. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to try every single trick they can think of to make make it difficult on you. And every single trick is gonna be difficult on you. Let's see. To throw our arm straight forward midair, hold right, left stick down and press B. Mm. This might feel strange at the beginning, but it's not something you'll need to do very often. <laughs> Still, it's a good trick to have up your sleeve. So even the game is admitting that, that some of these controls feel awkward. Like, all of these controls feel very awkward to me. They feel like something that you would expect to experience in a uh, in an 80s arcade game. Here you need to get into a swing from the left to right. Keep holding left stick to right. And once you've released, immediately change the direction left stick to up and press B again. Hmm. Yeah, and transitions like that are going to be crazy. This is your trickiest move yet, so don't get frustrated if you need a few attempts. And you almost have the feeling that the game is is going to be all of this, but there's also people shooting at you. <laughs> Let's not forget. Uh, well, I got lucky there. To get beneath the platform you're currently on, just walk off the edge of it. Quickly turn around so you're facing the other way and press B to grab it. And swing this way. This should be a walk in the park for you now. Just accept it. Alright. There we go, one more. The recoil swing uses the very platform you're standing on to get a swing that sends you further forward than walking off the edge would. While you move it off the edge, it seems impossible. Let's see, but you walk off the edge of the platform, turn back and grab the platform. And now hold the left stick to the right. Once you're mid here, the to travel right. Then tap B at the right moment to grab this. This is going to be pretty nightmarish. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the first part's not totally crazy. It's just a decent amount of things timed together. Ah, uh, I had it, but I kept pushing forward. Hmm. This game punishes you for having your fingers on the on the controllers when you shouldn't have them on. I'm getting good at things I shouldn't be getting good at. There we go. Kind of got lucky there. Kind of skill. And now they've introduced... A new spike thing. Here we have introduced spikes, but don't worry, you have an infinite number of tries. Tap on the on the left stick mid swing to interrupt your swing arc with a short jump. If your swing is about to send you to a lethal landing, you need to press downwards in time. Okay. 
If you've already pressed B a second time to attract the cable, pressing downward will make you fall straight down without a short jump. Okay. And they didn't e weren't even going to teach me that. They were just going to leave me to potentially hurt myself. Hmm. And boy does that feel like an old arcade game. Just one hit kills. Hmm. And this game does definitely have some metal metal slug elements to it maybe i have to be facing the other direction when i press down well that worked but man you you probably have to do it really early because they already said you weren't going to lose inertia so you you really have to you have to swing a couple times to to be on the left side this might look difficult but it'll, if you've come this far you're up to a task grab the bottom platform and swing up to the right hmm. change direction to the left and swing to the platform far left and change direction to the right to reach the higher platform and something like this would be incredibly frustrating. Well, that would have worked if I had let go of the controller. There we go. Um... Either I'm supposed to get it really close, or I'm supposed to do a downward. Well, that worked, but I guess I have to do this, this, then press B real quick. And I have to get... Let's see what they want me to do. This one's tricky. You need to swing above the spikes. Then midair press down and pressing B to grab that then quickly tap B again to start releasing the cable yeah that's what I figured and you're really gonna have to get that wow got it on the first try well good that's all the tutorials but because those didn't really leave a great taste in my mouth. Uh, we've been playing for 30 minutes and we haven't gotten into the game at all. Because we've been doing the tutorials. And if ever I needed something to scare me off of a game like this, that would be those tutorials. Hmm. No real sense as to what opens that. And that just brings us back here. <sighs> yeah, I can't really see myself. Apparently, I did zero now, and so I'm done with it. Like, I can't really see myself going through 19 levels here. Do the white levels mean there are no enemies? And do the trucks mean there will be some enemies on the white levels? Do the red levels mean there will be enemies? Do the colors mean anything at all? We have no idea. Uh, so, having not really played the game but gone through these tutorial missions, which all of them seem like they're going to be frustrating swings, it certainly makes a lot of sense why they did Bionic Commando in a 3D environment where you could use an analog stick and have more controls and try to put in a smoother motion because it's not really smooth at all here it's very awkward to control like and making everything 3d for a modern game makes a lot of sense uh although in a lot of ways it could have been an indiana jones game where indiana jones was just swinging on as a whip as much as it as bionic commando could be a bionic commando game if that's just the main gameplay mechanic uh, 
I imagine we'll we will do one more episode for 30 minutes but I imagine what we'll find is that there's nothing really here worth playing or the other thing might be that it is so easy on easy then I can just breeze through it and I get if I breeze through the whole game in less than an hour and a half I guess fine the, again there's no achievements there's no real reason to to play this game other than having fun and so that's what we'll have to find out is there some way I can find a way to have fun so far no that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening